Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold a beetle. This is a traditional model. I'll be using a 6 inch sheet of kami. And we'll start with the colored side down. Next we'll valley fold in half along the horizontal. So I'll bring this top edge down to lie along the bottom edge. Just make sure both the corners line up. Hold that in place and then crease. And then unfold. Then we'll valley fold in half along the vertical. So I'll bring the right edge over to the left edge. And then crease that all the way across. And then unfold. Next, I'll bring this top edge into the center crease. And crease that one down. Then we'll bring the bottom edge into that same center crease. And then unfold both of those. Next we'll bring this right edge into the center vertical crease. And then crease that. And do the same thing with this left edge. Now for the next couple steps, the model's not going to lie flat. So it'll take a, a couple steps and then we'll be able to squash everything down. So it might be a little bit difficult to tell what goes on here, but I'll try to go slow so you can see. We're going to bring this crease line out to this edge here, and that'll form a valley fold that runs diagonally this way. At the same time, this raw edge is going to line up with this crease line here. So line it up right there and then we'll crease up to this point right here. And then while that's creased, we'll do the same thing on this side. So bring this edge down to this crease here. And then crease that part there. That should look like this. And then this valley fold that runs across on the inside, we're going to form that fold. And then we can press everything down and we'll be forming a new crease that runs out to this point, starting with the right side. And then we'll do the same on the left side. You can see those new creases that formed there run all the way out to the corner. Next, we're going to take this flap here and we're going to fold it upwards. It's gonna form a new valley fold right here. And there's not a reference point for this one, but we'll fold so that it starts about a quarter of the way between this center vertical crease and the outside edge here. And I'll show you what I mean. 
So we'll fold that up and then we want to make sure this edge is vertical and then crease it down. You can see that distance there is about a fourth of the distance of all the way out to the edge. And then we'll do the same thing on the left side. So we'll bring that up, then just try to make it even with the right side and crease it down. Next we'll turn the whole model over. And we're going to make a valley fold about right here. Again, there's no reference for this one, but it will be about a fourth of the way between this line and this line. So about right here. We'll just fold that up about this much and then crease it down. Then we'll turn the model back over. Next we're going to bring this right edge in to line up with this edge here. We'll be folding through all the layers So this section should line up with the edge below it and the whole thing should be vertical. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So we'll bring this edge into this edge. Like this. Next, we're going to bring this bottom right edge right here to line up with this edge here, which will form a valley fold starting from this point. Just like that, and then crease it firmly through all the layers. And then you can unfold that, and we'll do the same thing on this side. So we'll bring this edge up to this edge. Then unfold that. Now for the next step, we're going to form those creases again that we just made, but it's going to go up underneath this flap here and it will form a new mountain fold that's horizontal starting from where the crease meets the edge here. So the way to do that will be to open this flap up a little bit and then form the valley fold underneath and then push this up underneath the flap and form the other crease that we have already. And then when you press the flap down, you should be able to form that new crease on top of everything. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. So we'll lift that up, form the valley fold underneath, push that upwards, forming that other fold, and then make our new crease by pressing everything down. And then if you turn the whole model over, we are all done. And I like to pull these flaps up just a little bit so you can see the other color underneath. I just kind of bring them out to the side like this. But if you liked this video, then make sure to subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.